Hi guys, this is Smooth Tech back again with another video. This time I'm showing you how to get CyanogenMod 10 on your Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. Um, this is the beta version and it is the newest version. So what you're going to do is first you're going to need to download the link in the description. The link that says CyanogenMod 10. You just open it up in your browser. It's going to take you straight to the download. Um, so as soon as my browser pops up here I'll show you. Okay, so just bam, paste it in your browser or click on it, it'll take you to this link here. As soon as this uploads, I'm trying to do this as fast as I possibly can. Um, so you may have to click there, but just click it. There it is, it'll take you to that. You just click on it. It'll download the file. It takes like five seconds uh, before you can click on the link. Right there, it says right there. Um, this is where you're gonna download. You're gonna push download here. It takes five seconds before you can actually download it. And then bam, it starts to download. And then what you're gonna need to do is click on the other uh, link in the description that says Google Ads Apps because the Google Apps are not on there automatically because it is a custom ROM so you're just gonna go there you're gonna paste it into your browser or just click on the link I have to paste it um, actually paste it in my browser let's just do it that way why don't I just do that sorry about that guys I don't know why I just click copied again so bam just paste that in your browser and take you there It'll give you a time limit before you can download it. So it says, please wait one second now to download. Sorry about that. Then you just click it, download it. Um, the add the file for Sanjay Mod 10 is 150 megabytes, and for Google Apps it's 83.1 megabytes. Um, so basically, once you have that done you're going to need to put your phone in USB debugging mode mine's already there but if you don't know where that is it may be a little different because I am running the beta version of Cyanogen Mod um, if you're running um, Ice Cream Sandwich it's under development developers op options um, and it should say USB debugging under develop, uh, developers option mine is in a different place um, mine's under advanced I believe it is no, nope. oh, where's my that? I've seen it here before about phone performance. I believe what mine's under performance. No, but you get it, so you know it's under there. Go under developers options on your ice cream sandwich device. Click USB debugging. Once that's done, you're gonna take any uh, micro USB cable, plug your device in. and get mine plugged in and then you're going to go over to your computer as soon as there, your files pull up there okay if it says installing android just let it install I don't know why I'm saying that I installed it many of times okay so now just go down to wherever you see your phone at Mine hasn't popped up here yet, so we'll see where it's, it's taking it so long here. Okay, so I actually have to do that on this one because it is not ice cream sandwich. It is jelly bean. So as soon as it connects, okay, there it is. It's connected now. So it should pop up. Um, you can click on removable. Now what you want to do is you want to find somewhere to uh, drop those files in. I am just going to put mine under external SD card. I already have the uh, files downloaded. So all you got to do is drag them in there. I'm not going to do this for mine because I don't want to take up the memory. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to power off your phone completely. You can unplug your phone now. You're not going to need that anymore. So what you're going to do is power off your phone.
you're going to want to hold the power up button and the power button at the same time until you see the sprint logo or right there now you let it go this will take you um, into your um, you know your ROM manager or root manager recovery so you're going to need to be rooted you're going to go right here wipe data and factory reset and then you go right here to yes you hit enter it'll wipe it I'm not going to wipe mine and then you're going to wipe cache partition you're going to go down there, you're going to hit wipe, and then you're going to go to advanced, and you're going to wipe Dalvik cache, and then you're going to go down to wipe, and then once you're done with doing that, you are going to go to install zip from SD card, then you're going to go down to wherever you have it, if it's an external or internal, and then you're going to click on it. You're going to download it, the Cyanogen mod first, and then you're going to download the Google Apps afterwards. I've also erased it, and you have to do Google Apps again. And once you're done with that, it'll take you out. You go to Reboot Now, and then it'll take you back into the main menu. Um, it should take no longer, this should take no longer than 15 minutes to flash and boot up and everything. If it takes a little bit longer, it is normal for your phone to, you know, start up a little normal. Then you'll get this screen. Cool little animation and then I'll take you right into this and then once you do it it'll have you welcome set up your gmail account and everything like that um, so if this video was useful please like subscribe um, as it does help me out a lot also if you want to know how to root your galaxy s2 epic 4g touch please let me know in the comments and I'll show you guys how to do that once again this is smooth tech the like, subscribe, comment, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.